Okay, got some new tools for you guys to check out today. These tools were all made in the USA, so this is going to be a made in USA edition. So let's see what I got. All right, up first from Blue Point, right off the Snap-on tool truck. This is going to be quarter-inch shank uh, power extractors. You can see right there, made in USA. You got the made in USA. Uh, let's get it open. See what we got. You can see we got a little bit of instructions there. And there's all our uh, all the tools in there. You get this open. All right, now that I have them all put away, you can see what you get. Um, it comes in a nice little case with a little slide lock there. And you can see the bits are held in place just like that. Um, and these are just extractor types. You can see they're fluted inside there. And uh, you can see, I don't know if you can see that, but if you can look closely right there, these are actually stamped snap-on. So these are snap-on branded, even though it says even though it says blue point there, they're snap-on. And let's see the sizes you get. 3 16 quarter, 5 16 3 8 10 millimeter, 7 16 and a half inch. So definitely a decent selection. And you just put these on your drill or your quarter inch uh, impact. And uh, and if you got a damaged, you know, fastener, this is what you use to get them off. Or one of the tools you can use to get them off. So, all right, let's see what else we got. All right, up next, we got some pliers that are used to remove spark plug wires. Say that three times fast. Uh, model 52990. It doesn't say anywhere where it's made, but you can clearly see it's stamped USA right there. Um, but yeah, these are just your run of the mill spark plug wires, I guess, or pliers. And let's get it open. And there's what you get. You can grab them this way, or you can grab them this way. I should say probably more like that. So a couple different angles you can grab them at, depending on how they're situated in there. But nice to be able to, you know, buy a tool that's made here in the U.S. Let's see what else we got. Up next from Irwin or Hanson, we got a 48-piece master extractor set. Uh, it has a 35-piece um, screw extractor drill bit set and a 13-piece uh, bolt extractor set. So let's check it out, see what we got. And you can see made in USA of global components. What the heck does that mean? You know what that means. Put it down in the comments there. But you can see on this sticker it clearly says made in United States. Usually when it says made in USA, there's nothing else after that. Usually if they're going to put other stuff, they'll put assembled in USA or whatever. Usually made in USA means made in USA and that's it. So in any event, let's get it open. Alright, there you go. That's what you get in this set right here. You get some left-handed drill bits and you get several different types of extractors. You can see similar to the uh, fluted, similar to the blue point set I was showing you earlier. So yeah, lots of different types of extractors here and then of course left-handed drill bits to go with it. And you can see, yeah, let's see, these are stamped USA on it. These are stamped USA. Same thing, USA right there. But the drill bits are stamped Brazil. So I guess we found out where our made in USA of global components came from. At least the, uh, yeah, it looks like probably the entire drill bit was manufactured in Brazil. I'm, I can't imagine they would stamp this just the steel and then um, cut them up here in the U.S. Maybe, but in any event, that looks like it solves our mystery of here why it's of global components. And yeah, it's listed right there the same way, made in USA of global components. So anyway, once again, if you have to use... Uh, you have to use a set like this, that means your job went sideways and you're kind of hoping you didn't have to use it. So, let's see what else we got. 
And I should mention, if you want to buy the same exact kit from Snap-on, you could do that and say Snap-on all over it. Um, I have a picture right here. Although it's not the same exact kit, it doesn't have these extractors right here on the side. It has the rest of it. As you can see, that I took this picture right off the Snap-on truck. It's the same exact thing. Uh, if, if you look close, you can see it says Snap-on USA on these. And if you actually really look close, I'm not sure, do I have a good shot? I don't know if you can see it right there. But right there, it clearly is stamped Brazil on the steel, on the drill bits. So, same exact stuff if you really wanted to buy a Snap-on, but you probably pay, I don't know, three times more for this. And up next, from SK, and SK prides itself in making stuff in the U.S., we got a plastic body clip and rivet removal kit. This is model 6640 and well we'll have to get it open for you to see but if you look in there you can clearly see right on the handle it says made in USA and even this kit this plastic little uh, case here stamped made in USA on it also so let's get it open. Alright so as you see we got the case then we got a couple of tools here you know we got one for reaching in there popping clips out you know and there's a center punch for those uh, rivet things that have uh, center punches where you got to punch it in a little bit and then you can pop it out and then the real reason that I bought this was an indexing little pry bar made just for plastic rivets I think that's cool that's like the best thing since sliced bread because inevitably they'll always be in an area where you can't quite get it with your other tool and so that's so cool that you can index it and you have to resist the urge to go to town on anything other than plastic fasteners because that's all what this is made for but that to me is super cool and you get some an assortment of plastic fasteners I won't take that out and it looks like you got we got a bunch of dividers so you can pop these out and uh, place dividers all in here I don't think I'm going to use this tray for this, what it's intended for. At least not the tools. I'll throw the tools in the toolbox and I'll probably keep this tray somewhere else. But can't wait to use this on some plastic fasteners. Let's see what else I got. All right. Also off the snap-on truck, we got a really long quarter-inch flex head ratchet. Obviously stamped USA there. It's also stamped USA down in the handle. Uh, the part number Tango Lima Lima Fox 7-2. Um, this is about 10 and a half inches. And you can see just other than that, it's your standard, you know, snap-on ratchet, on-off, flex head. But what's nice is it's really long. Uh, when you got to get into some areas where that fastener is way down in there, it's buried deep. Obviously, with a quarter inch, you're not going to want to put a ton of, uh, you know, torque on it although you could this is more for uh, hard to reach areas but I'll, let me show you what is next to a, a, a standard size All right, here's a standard um, quarter inch ratchet from snap-on you can see you can see the length difference it's definitely more than twice as long and I also have from gear wrench here's one of their longer flex head ratchets and you can see that the snap on this one's still quite a bit longer. Definitely just, I mean, it's a specialty tool. When you need to get in hard to reach areas, it's nice to be able to have that in the toolbox. All right, let's see what else we got. And up next from Lang, we got a seven piece wheel stud thread restorer kit, model 2583. And you can clearly see made in USA right there. And you can see. We get, uh, it's like a nice decal sticker. You could uh, stick that right there if you wanted to. And you can see we get seven thread chasers. And these are specifically sizes for uh, wheel studs, which is kind of nice. So instead of reading them all off, you can, you can see, you can pause the video right there. You can see the sizes you get. Um, and obviously, if you come across wheel studs that are damaged, this is the type of kit you want something like this to fix them. And Lang make, does a good job 
These are also rebranded from the tool truck companies. In fact, I have the whole master kit I'll show you. And I've shown this before. This is the Craftsman version. And this is also made by Lang. And you can see made in the USA. And it actually, this kit actually has all seven of these. But as you can see, I'm already miss, I'm missing one of them. The 12 by 1.25 I'm missing. So that's part of the reason why I got this set is, you know, they go bad, they go missing and whatnot or they just get used up and these these type of uh, tools don't have a lifetime warranty so you gotta buy you know replacements so this was uh, just one way for me to make sure I have on hand the uh, the ones that are good for wheel studs because they tend to uh, get eaten up pretty fast or lost so anyway if you're looking you know for more than just the seven you can also always buy this 48 piece set and you can look for it, you know, rebranded from Lang or Snap-on, you know, Craftsman. I'm sure there's other companies. Um, K-Star is the one who I think was originally, it was uh, named after, but Lang, which owns K-Star, they went ahead and incorporated the name under the Lang. So I believe if it's uh, from Lang, everything just says Lang now. And obviously, if you want to get it from Craftsman or other companies, it's going to have their name on it. But it's all the same tool made in the same factory. And up next, we got the big five-piece curved pry bar set made in USA by Mayhew. This is the Dominator series. And let's see, model 61366. Let's get this thing open. Check out what we got. All right, and just looking real quick at the features, you can see it. you got a composite handle, ergonomically designed. Um, and then what I really like, they have the capped ends there where you can strike. And, as you can see, they clearly demonstrate that the steel shaft right here is in direct contact with that cap. So when you hit that cap, all the energy is directed onto that steel shaft and on down to the tip. Um, I'm pretty sure other uh, manufacturers, when they make theirs, um, that, that cap is not attached or directly in contact with the steel shaft. So the energy has to transfer over to the handle and then down the shaft, and that's not very efficient. That's, pr that's actually a good way to break your handle there. Um, and then you can see the sizes we get, um, 8 inch, 12, 17, 25, and 31 inches long. And you can see that they get progressively, you know, the steel is progressively bigger as you go up in size from quarter inch to half inch. So let's check them out. Oh, and lifetime warranty from Mayhew. You can see the sizes and those, the handles just feel solid. Um, they definitely feel like you're not going to tear those up. Um, they're all stamped USA right on the steel. And I, I really like having an 8 inch size like this. Instead of misusing a screwdriver, which anybody who's ever worked on anything has misused a screwdriver, it's nice to actually have a proper tool to hit and to pry with that's actually not a screwdriver. But you can see those are the two smaller ones. Then you got, you know, middle of the road. Then you got a couple of really long ones. You know, you got this one. And then you got the really long one. So definitely very nice um, sizes and pretty much whenever you're going to have to pry something. If you can't find it in this set, then you're really doing some work. All right, and if you look at the Mayhews next to some uh, Craftsmen, you can see they're the same length. For that size and you can see that's exactly the same and uh, these are a newer version from uh, Craftsman and you can see they're made in the USA they have striking handles but I'm not convinced that this striking cap actually comes in contact with this I think there's a gap in there. Um, I don't know that I would have to cut it open to verify for sure but I suspect it is and then here's an older style just a solid hard handle where these are more of a textured grip but uh, that's what the really old style looks like. And these are made by Wild here in the U.S. I don't have a problem with Wild. I like them. I like that they still make stuff here in the United States. Um, but yeah, the one thing that I did not like about them is that I suspect that the cap is not, not on there. And I wanted, you know, a few more lengths. Uh, you know, this was, in this set, there was a shorter 12-inch one like this and then that's all you got you got the three lengths so you couldn't buy a set 
at least not that I saw, maybe they have one now. You couldn't buy a set with the small one or the really big one, you know, and obviously if you work on vehicles, heck, the one I use the most is a small one. I use the one from OTC. Here it is right here. I use that a lot, but this thing's made in China, so I like using stuff made in the U.S. whenever I can, so I think I'll retire this and be using the made in the USA version. All right, enough about pry bars. Let's see what else we got. Okay, next, from Hanson, we got a four-pack of uh, three-row socket trays. This is a part number 92003, and you get four sets of trays there. I'll let you check out the number, and uh, let me get it open, see what we got. And you can see we have four trays, but what's make what makes these different is you see they have a third row for uh, mid-length sockets. And I got quarter inch and three eighths in uh, metric, and the same thing in uh, SAE, three eighths and quarter inch. And you can clearly see all of them made in the USA. And in addition to these. I have half inch versions but these are just two row. I don't have any plans of getting any mid length half inch but this way this will complete my whole socket selection by having by adding these too. Alright so here's my quarter inch set of sockets metric. You can see I use this Harbor Freight socket holder and it works fine but you know here's my mid length and you can see I have to keep them separate so that's why I bought them I want to be able to just keep them all in one one tray just like that and you can see you know we can put put our 10 millimeter deep right there and that's how they go and I'll be able to put my mid length here and the, the shallows there so it'll you know just eliminate the need for having this and then when they're on the rail like this you know it, it's a little harder to see the, the sizes on there where you can clearly see them like this so just a personal preference, I'm going to retire the cheapos from Harbor Freight and go with the uh, USA Hanson model. And there's a final shot. All the sockets are installed. Alright, up next from Viking Drill and Tool, you can see we got a mechanic length drill set, SPM-29, made in USA. I'm not sure what that number is. EDP number 66480. I don't know. 29 pieces, um, 1 16th to 1 half. HD Super Premium Black and Gold. Wow, sounds really cool. All right, get it open. All right, now that we got it open, let's see what we got. We got a nice black metal case. And let's see, we open it up, and you can see that these just are on hinges. And we got three rows. So there's our drill bits right there, and I don't know if you can see, but they're they're stamped with the sizes, and they have the uh, decimal conversion for each size right there too. That's kind of nice. And these are mechanics length, so they're a little bit shorter than let's say a jobber length, um, and that's obviously made for people who work on cars. You need it a little bit shorter if you're trying to get in there and drill the head off a bolt or something. So definitely nice and you know these are made of uh, high strength steel so they're made for drilling into hardened steel um, and you know I hear good things about you know this Viking company so we'll put them to the test and see if they're good well there you go it's getting harder and harder to find tools that are made in the USA anymore when I was a kid it was a lot easier nowadays a little bit harder but um, in any event, there you go. Hope you enjoyed this uh, Made in USA tool edition. And as always, if the video helped you out or you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. And just a little tidbit of info for those of you who stuck around. Here's an old Irwin slash Hansen extractor set. You can see, maybe you can't, it says Stamped USA. These are Made in USA. Uh, let's see, 1989, copyright 89, going way back. And can you guess where I bought it? Look at that sticker. That's right. Harbor Freight. Who knew you could buy Irwin Made in USA extractors at Harbor Freight way back in the day?